I wanted to give a quick demo on how to back up and restore stateful apps in IBM Cloud Satellite. So what we're going to have today is um, actually two separate sat rocks on satellite clusters. And in that, we're going to see that one cluster has a suite of apps that actually has persistent storage. And then the other cluster um, is in a clean initial state. And what we're going to do is actually back up the stateful app in um, Tyler USDSD2. We're going to back that up to object storage, and then we're going to restore that into Tyler Loc USDSD3. And through that backup and restore process, not only are we going to back up the application itself, but we're going to back up all persistent volume data that's written on the application. So let's first start out by checking out um, an application instance itself. And we're going to go to where the PVC is mounted. And we'll see there's two files here, a um, by and a hi file. And now um let's go through the process of backing up the existing application and then restoring it into the dr cluster so we'll go here and we're going to run um a backup on the existing cluster so let's go ahead and do that and ensure we include the default namespace create that Ultimately, we will see um, objects appear in this page. Very cool. So now we have our backup of the existing cluster saved in this page. And now what we can do is go to our new cluster and restore the data. And we'll do restore here. Backup will be called backup. Restore PVs and included namespace. We're going to add default. We'll run that. And then what we should see here. Are, we're going to see the pods get created. We're going to see the PV get created as well. And then what we can do is we see the files that were created as well. Completes our um, stateful app DR video. So just to recap what we did. We took an existing stateful app in one cluster, backed it up, and then restored it into a DR cluster and showed how the data and the applications are initialized through um, the process that I just showed with the OpenShift Advanced Data Protection Operator and ODF. And just thank you for your time and look forward to speaking with you all soon.